Blessings Gift Shop and the Olivewood Factory in Bethlehem, Palestinian Territories. The Olivewood Factory and Blessings Gift Shop is owned by Yeris Elias Jacobin and his sons. A Christian family born in Bethlehem. Established in 1925 by his father Elias Jacobin, and now is run by Bassem Jacobin, the third generation. Olivewood carving is an ancient tradition in Palestine that continues to the present day. It involves the skillful chiseling of olive wood and is most common in the Bethlehem region. The tradition of making the handicrafts began in the 4th century CE under Byzantine rule in Bethlehem which continues to be the main city that produces the craft following the construction of the Church of the Nativity. Greek Orthodox monks taught local residents how to carve olive wood. The art developed and became a major industry in Bethlehem and nearby towns like Beit Zahur and Beit Jala in the 16th and 17th centuries when Italian and Franciscan artisans on pilgrimage to the area by now under the rule of the Ottomans taught the residents how to carve. Since then the tradition has been passed on generation by generation and is dominated by the descendants of the original local carvers. Today. The art continues to be a major source of income for Bethlehem's Palestinian Christian residents and is the most profitable tourist product in the city with the main purchasers being Christian pilgrims visiting in Christmas time. Olive wood is carved into crosses, boxes, picture frames, covers for historical and old books, candle holders, rosaries, urns, vases, and Christmas ornaments as well as scenes of the Holy Family. Olive wood branches are supplied by olive groves in nearby villages as well as from the Nablus and Tulkarm region, despite the difficulty of transportation in the West Bank. The importance of olive wood. Why olive wood is used and not any other wood? Because it's a native to the Holy Land. The first olive wood groves were grown over 6,000 years ago. Jesus was arrested on the Mount of Olives before he died. California University carbon dated in 1990, the olive groves on the Mount of Olives to be over 2,300 years old. They still remain standing today. An olive wood tree is a very slow growing tree, and must be over 150 years before we could prune it. No one is allowed to cut any olive trees down. Once the tree reaches over 150 years old, before we could prune it. The older the olive tree the darker the color on the wood will be, and the younger the olive tree, the lighter the color will be. The pruning starts straight after the olives are harvested in October and ends mid-March, after March the olives starts developing on the tree. The tree is never damaged, pruning is very important every year, so new branches grow and olive tree yields more olives every year. From the tree we get olives and from the olives we get our olive oil, and the leftover pulp we make soap etc. Olive tree is a symbol of peace the Bible story of Noah and the flood. We use olives for eating and putting on our pizza. We use the seeds of the olives to make rosaries. We use the pruned wood to make beautiful handmade wood carvings. From the olive tree, the best pruned pieces are used for making beautiful carvings, and the sawdust gets passed to people to use in their farms. Tiny of cuts get bagged for the cold winter fire. Since the days of Noah, the olive tree has been a symbol of peace. Farmers still continue to grow olive trees as a way of staying connected to the Holy Land struggles and war for one day to have peace. Blessings Gift Shop is the largest licensed olive wood factory on Milk Grotto Street. It's next to the Milk Grotto Church in Bethlehem. There's a very large grotto and nativity set outside the factory and shop. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.